Hi, TK Cubs. It is story time. So I'm going to read a story from our special book, our special read aloud book. And you're going to listen and make the pictures in your head while you're listening. And then after this story, we will go over the picture cards. And you can see if you imagine it the same way and you'll get to answer the questions and tell a family member by answering the questions you are retelling the story so after we go over the questions you can go pick a family member and retell the story to okay so we're gonna read Tiki Tiki Tembo just because it's fun to say Tiki Tiki Tembo a tale from China long ago in a small village in China lived two small brothers when the first brother was born his parents had so many favorite names that they couldn't make up their minds. So they called him Tiki Tiki Tembo No Swim Rimbo Mary Berry Tip Top Silly Billy Flip Flop Bush Berry Bembo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would take forever if we had to take roll. You know when we um I call your names in the morning? That kid would that would take a half an hour. <laughs> And then he would go here, but you were all you would all be asleep. That is a long name. Okay, when the second brother was born, his parents had only one favorite name left, so they called him Chen. Soon, the two little boys were big enough to play outside. Every day, their mother warned them, "Do not go near the well, my little darlings, or one of these days." You are certain to fall in. One day, the brothers were chasing a kite when, sure enough, Chen fell into the well. Down, down, down he went, then splash! He hit the bottom of the well. Tiki, tiki, tembo, no swim, rimbo, merry, berry, tip top, silly, billy, flip flop, bush, berry, bembo. Huh, ran to tell his mother. Mother, mother, he cried, Chen has fallen into the well. What? cried his mother. I can hardly believe my ears. Tell me again. Mother, mother, he repeated, Chen has fallen into the well. Oh dear, cried his mother. Our darling Chen has fallen into the well. We must rescue him. Go get the house painter and tell him to bring his long ladder. So tiki tiki tembo, no sweb rimbo, merry berry tip top silly billy flip flop bush berry bembo <sighs> ran to the village. He found the house painter who was working on top of his long ladder. Oh, honorable house painter, he said, Chen has fallen into the well. Only your ladder can save him. Chen has fallen into the well, cried the house painter. We must go help him at once. They ran to the well. The house painter climbed down his ladder. Then he came back up the ladder, this time carrying Chen. Water came out of Chen's mouth. It came out of his nose. It even came out of his ears. But soon Chen oh, was feeling better and all was well. For a long time, the brothers did not play near that well. But one day, uh oh, tiki tiki tumbo, no serimbo, merry berry, tip top, silly billy, flip flop, bush berry, bembo, ran to catch a ball. He jumped high in the air and fell right into the well. <gasps> down, down, down he went, then splash. He hit the bottom of the well. Chen ran to tell his mother, 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 he cried. Tiki, tiki, tumbo, no se, rimbo, merry, berry, tip, top, silly, billy, flip, flop, bush, berry, bumbo, has fell into the well. Oh my gosh, it takes too long when it's an emergency to say his name. What? They should have had a nickname for him, like Tiki. What? cried his mother. I can hardly believe my ears. Tell me again. Mother, cried Chen, his voice shaking. Tiki, tiki, tembo, no serimbo, merry flop, bo. But Chen was shook up. 
that he couldn't get out another word. Child, do you not know your own brother's name? Asked his mother, for shame, start again. Oh my goodness, he's in the well. There's no time. Chen took a deep breath. Mother, he cried. Ticky, ticky, tembo, no sa, rimbo, flip, <gasps> top. Start again slowly, ordered his mother. Mother, cried Chen. Ticky, ticky, tembo, no sa, rimbo, merry, merry, tip, top, silly, billy, flip, flop, bush, berry, bembo, has fallen into the well. Oh dear, cried his mother, ticky ticky tembo, no say rimbo, merry berry, tip top, silly billy, flip flop, bush berry, bembo, has fallen into the well. We must rescue him, yeah. Quick, fetch the house painter and tell him to bring his long ladder. So Chen ran to the village to get the house painter. Oh, honorable house painter, he cried. Ticky ticky, merry berry, Chen, stop. He took a breath, he started again. Oh, honorable house painter, he cried. Ticky ticky tembo bush flip flop chen stop tears started to roll down his cheeks boy what are you trying to tell me asked the house painter but by this time chen was crying even harder he cried and cried and then he sniffed he took a breath and then he stood up tall he closed his eyes so that he could concentrate it means thinks think really hard focus Oh, honorable house painter, he cried. Ticky, ticky, tembo, no, sir, rimbo, merry, merry, berry, tip, top, silly, billy, flip, flop, bush, berry, bembo, has fallen into the well. <laughs> what? cried the house painter. Ticky, ticky, tembo, no, sir, rimbo, merry, berry, tip, top, silly, billy, flip, flop, bush, berry, bembo, has fallen into the well. We must help him. Let's go. Yeah. They ran to the well. The house painter used his ladder to climb down at the bottom. Soon he came up carrying ticky ticky tumbo, no sir, rainbow, berry dairy, tip top, silly billy, flip flop, bush berry, bembo. Oh my gosh, he needs to go change his name. Water came out of the boy's mouth. It came out of his nose. It came out of his ears. And it kept on coming. Yeah, because he was in that well a long time because people kept saying his name. Because of his long name, the boy had been in the water much longer than had his brother, Chen. And for a long time, no one knew if he would be himself again. That was lucky he was still okay. They brought him to his bed. By the time he opened his eyes, wanting to play, several hours later, his parents had vowed to call him only by his first three names forever after. Oh, good idea. And he was known as Ticky Ticky Tembo for the rest of his days. Oh, that's better. Ticky Ticky Tembo. You can say that fast. Ticky Ticky Tembo. Ticky Ticky Tembo's in the well. Okay, hopefully he won't go in the well again or fall into it. Happy reading. Go read a book. Oh, actually, we're not done. We're going to go over the story cards. I'm sorry. And then you get to read, reread the story. To someone else retell it original storytelling was not out of books it was just out of people's mouths and then the pictures were in people's heads so let's go to the first card let's see how can you see it the best okay so the first question is who are the two boys near the well which brother falls into the well first? What is Tiki Tiki Tembo saying to his mother? And what does his mother tell him to do? So just answering those first four questions, you are retelling the first part of the story. So you can pause this video while you're asking e or answering each question so you can remember. So you can pause after I ask each question and then answer the questions and as you're answering the questions you're retelling the story all right next card how did chen get out of the well who is falling into the well now 
What does Chen go, who does Chen go to for help? And why is it so hard for Chen to ask for help? Oh, we know that one. Okay, so you can pause after each question. Like, how did Chen get out of the well? Then you can press pause and answer the question. And if you answer all four of these questions, you are retelling the middle part of the story. All right. Third card and last. This is the end of the story. Oh, these are beautiful illustra illustrations. Okay. First question. Who is helping to rescue Tiki Tiki Tembo? What happens to Tiki after he is out of the well? What lesson does his family learn? And what do they call their oldest son now? What do they call him now? The one with the long name. Okay. So by answering those questions, you are retelling the end of the story. So if you answer all the questions from all the cards, you are retelling the whole story. And what's cool is you're retelling it in your own words. And I bet a family member will really enjoy that. Okay. So go retell the story and happy reading.